Did you know you just washed your mouth with floor cleaner? Uh, no. It's mouthwash. See? Yeah, but a hundred years ago, Listerine was used and marketed as a generic household cleaning fluid. <gasps> Good old Listerine. My favorite household antiseptic. I use it to wash my feet, clean my floors, and heck, maybe it'll even clear up my gonorrhea. Ice cream social, here I come. It wasn't until the 1920s that Listerine started marketing itself as a way to prevent bad breath. There was just one problem, though. Madam, do you have bad breath? No! Most people thought their breath smelled fine already. Frustrating for Listerine, right? So they devised a plan. They dug up an obscure Latin word and told people it was a disease they could have without even knowing it. Excuse me, madam, do you suffer from halitosis? Hotsy, totsy, I don't know. What's halitosis? Why, it's Latin for icky disease for rubes. You could have it and be none the wiser. And if you do, everyone secretly hates you. <gasps> That's my greatest fear! So you're saying Listerine coined the term halitosis? Oh no, I'm not saying that. Listerine is. On their own website, they say, Listerine coined the term halitosis. Listerine went on to cruelly exploit our insecurities for decades. Check out this real Listerine ad from back then. Are you unpopular with your own children? Or this one. Often a bridesmaid, but never a bride. <sighs> or this one. Don't fool yourself. Since halitosis never announces itself to the victim, you simply cannot know when you have it. They talk about you behind your back. <laughs> Holy crap! Are these real? Yeah. They're really mean. Yeah, they were also really, really successful. After this campaign, Listerine's profits rose 4,000% in just seven years. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shame money. <laughs>